I don't say okay. I say okay a lot, don't I? Don't say okay, Kim. <sighs> Hi, I'm Kim. If you've never been to my channel before, I am a brand new goat farmer. I am here in my shop today because I am going to wash the mohair that I sheared off of my goat mystic yesterday. She's an Angora goat and so um, some of her fiber wasn't usable. We'll see how much of it is going to be usable after today. Just a disclaimer, I've only washed mohair a few times and really you want to get it so you have beautiful soft hair without it being felted together already. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> the first step to washing your mohair is to get the vegetation out. When the goats are out in their stalls or out in the pasture, hay gets in them, dirt gets in them, straw gets in them, could be food, could be feces, could be a lot of things. You want to try to get that out first so you have the cleanest mohair to start with. And then we'll go on to the next step. So. Here we go. Okay, all done with the sorting and the initial cleaning part. I have a bucket of mohair that I'm gonna clean. It's washing time. Earlier today, I went through and I separated the vegetable material out of my fiber. Not all of it's gone. There's still some in there, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna pick through it. I divided up the fiber into two lots because I want to do one today and I want to wait to do the other one until I find out did I do a good job. <laughs> like I said, I've only done this a couple of times so it's kind of an experimental thing for me right now. So ah, wish me luck. The process. So I've got a bucket here and I'm going to pour hot water in there with some Dawn detergent. It's a mild detergent because there is um, all kinds of, it's like a waxy material on here. It's like an oil. So we need to break down the oil as well as get rid of the um, dirt and the smell that's in this. And the Dawn detergent does a really good job for that. There's other things you can use. I've heard people using the Simply Green. I've heard other detergents. There's a wool detergent you can use. But this is what I have right now and it's perfectly fine. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get your water as hot as possible. And the temperature that you wash in has to be the same temperature you rinse in because otherwise you're risking the, you may felt your wool that you have and you don't want to do that you want to have beautiful locks that um, you can either spin or sell to people as locks that type of thing and dogs so let's get our water ready all right so this is just a plastic container that I have I don't want to use one of my pots just because um, there are oils and other material in the fiber and I really just don't want that in one of my pots even though I could probably clean it. So that's why I'm just using a plastic container. So I'm going to pour the water in now. Okay, as you can see by the steam, this is very hot water. Um, this is as hot, hot as it comes out of the temperature of my tap, but it's probably too hot for me to put my hand into right now. So I'm just going to add some Dawn in here. Um, I don't need a ton, but I'm going to gently um, kind of get it mixed in there. Put a little bit more in. The more you put in, the more you're going to have to rinse out, but you want to make it enough that it will actually clean the mohair. Alrighty. So. I've got the mohair here and I'm just going to start putting it into the water. And then gently you want to submerge it and agitate it a little bit. You don't want to over agitate it because again you risk the um, chance of 
um, felting it in the water. So I don't know if you can see, but the water is turning um, kind of cloudy. So the oils are coming off and the dirt is coming out. So I'm going to move it around here just a little bit to make sure it's all in there good and that the um, dirt is being knocked off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit here for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. What you don't want is also to let the water cool down because then the oils will reabsorb into the mohair and then it's almost impossible to get it out. So we will let this sit here for about 10 minutes and then we will rinse it. Okay, so this has been sitting in the very, very hot water for about 15 minutes now. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I've got gloves on because the water is still hot and I want um, the rinse water to be just as hot. So I put gloves on um, so I don't burn my beautiful little handsies. Wow, 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 wow. So we're gonna just take it and just squeeze out as much as the water as you can. So squeeze out the water. Now I'm just putting it over here in a little strainer. It's so soft. Okay, now I'm going to take this outside and dump it, and then we're going to fill this back up for the rinse water. I'm going to rinse it under the water, but fill it back up in here. Now it is time to rinse our um, mohair. So I'm going to rinse it out and then I'm going to put it back into this water and let it set for a little bit. And you can see this water is a lot clearer this time. There's still a little bit of cloudiness to it. Just getting the dirt, the dirt out. I'm trying not to agitate it too much. So I'll let this sit here for just a few minutes to get that rinsed out. And then I'm gonna do a final rinse and then go lay it out. Okay, I've got it all rent, washed and rinsed. Now I'm gonna take the box and I'm gonna lay it out so it can dry. Okay, so I have my fibers here and all I'm gonna do is lay it out so it can dry. Right now, I'm using my trailer bed because it's got a nice um, grid pattern so it can dry. Alrighty, so there you go. The wool is all um, sorted and washed, rinsed, and now it's drying. I will make sure to show you guys the final product and show you what I'm doing with it. I think I'm gonna practice um, trying to spin with it. It's not really good to sell or anything. I think it's still a little matted. It has some vegetable material in it, but it is so super soft so I'm very excited to start working with it and I'll show you guys what I make so thanks for watching my channel if you have any questions or tips or tricks for me please let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe and hope you like the video thanks bye